How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. It is time guys, it is time to know all the details about update 12. I've just finished watching the playground live stream where we gained all the information about all the new cars, all the new features, all the new updates, bugs and fixes and stuff like that that's coming in update 12, which will be released within the next couple of days. With obviously the first season starting this Thursday. So in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about all the things that are coming in update 12 and also a bit of sneak peek of update 13 as they always give us as well. Very quickly before we get into it I want to once again plug my other channel that I'm working on which is all about money. If you've ever wondered how much money people make on YouTube and how you can make money on YouTube yourself it's a little project I'm working on. I'm using the statistics from this channel to show you on the other channel so if you're kind of wondering how much money I've made on this channel from let's say 100,000 views or a million views go and give it a sub link in the description. But anyway guys let's jump straight into the features of update 12 starting with the new festival playlist and all the new cars. So this month in the festival playlist, we only have four new cars. That's only in the festival playlist though. There's another car or two outside the festival playlist, but here is what we're getting this month for the festival playlist. For the full month, if you get to 50%, you'll unlock the Cadillac Escalade, the big kind of presidential limo type weird thing, not limo, you know what I mean. And then at 80%, you will get the Mosler, the first time that's returning in a long time. And then the first week, which is summer, at 50% completion, you'll unlock the Jeep Cherokee. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then at 80% completion, the Mercedes-Benz 280 SL. And an exclusive car from a championship is the Plymouth Fury. There's no new cars this week. Next week, which is autumn, there are two new cars available this week. At 50% you'll unlock the Volkswagen Carmen Gear, I think it's called. As you can see on screen, this is a new car available in autumn through 50% completion. At 80% completion, you'll unlock the new, the sorry, not new, the Crown Victoria, another car that lots of people have been asking for, and you'll get this at 80% in autumn, the second week. And then, through a championship on this week as well, you'll unlock the Volkswagen Notchback, I think it's called, which is another new car. So two new Volkswagens available this week. Next week is winter. At 50% completion, you'll unlock another new car, which is the Aston Martin Super Lazera. DBS 2019, something like that, I think that's how you pronounce it. This is a new car added to the game, you'll unlock this at 50%. At 80% you'll get the Maserati Levante, and then an exclusive car through the championship is the Porsche 914, I think you can get the Porsche 918 as well, this month as well. And then the last week of this month is spring. At 50% completion for this you'll unlock the Aston Martin Vanquish Zagato Coupe, which is another new car, that's the fourth new car available in the festival playlist this month. 80% completion you'll get the Lotus Elise which was part of the Top Gear story I believe and then an exclusive car through a championship in spring which is the last week as I said and you can get the Maserati MC12 Corsa which is a beast of a race car so that's all we got to know about the festival playlist there is some more new cars or car after this but now we're going to talk about the new features and the new updates which are coming to the game this week through this update So now for updates and features, there's not a massive amount, but there's quite a lot of different random things. Some of them are quite interesting, so let's talk about them. The first big kind of update we're getting is access to the Lego Barn Find. The car was revealed, they actually built it on stream, the physical thing, and it is what we all thought it was, the Porsche 911 Turbo 3 litre um, from 1974. And within the next couple of days, you'll be able to go to the Barn Find in the Legoland, Legoland, you know what I mean, and you'll be able to get this car after waiting for it to be built. So that's the first new update. The barn find is now available. Star card has been added. There's been a few things added to that. If you now go to the star card, um, as you know, you get individual rewards for completing each section. But now, if you complete every single star card, you will unlock two master prizes, which are the Ford Capri Forza Edition and a superstar flare, a horizon superstar flare, as you can see on screen. It's easily the best flare of them all. These two are now available if you complete all of the star cards, literally every single one. So it's a bit of a challenge, but it'll be worth it for that Ford Capri. Another new thing that they're adding is a new showcase remix, which will be available at the fourth week in spring. There'll be a new showcase remix you can see. I'm not sure if I took a screenshot of it or not, but there's a new showcase remix coming on the fourth week at the end of this month. 
And then about the Showcase Remix, they have apparently committed to every single month from now on, there's going to be at least two Showcase Remixes. Whether they're new ones or old ones, there's going to be at least two. And from now on, they're also going to make them even more exciting. Instead of just changing the car and adding a few puns, as they said, there'll be a lot more different stuff in each Showcase Remix compared to now. So that's good to looking forward to in the future. As for features and updates, I think that's all there is for now. But we have a load of fixes and stuff like that to talk about. So let's get into the bugs and fixes. There was apparently quite a big issue with joining multiplayer events. Currently, quite a lot of people had it just fail instantly when they were trying to join multiplayer events. This has apparently been fully fixed. They managed to crack the issue. So if you had issue with joining multiplayer online events, they should no longer fail. You should be able to get straight in. Another issue they fixed is, I'm quite surprised at this one, but apparently there were some places on the map in water, in lakes, you know, the watery parts that you you were able to drive in, but you weren't supposed to. So what they've done is they've changed that. And now if you go into the water, it will respawn you. It's only in certain places though, apparently, that you weren't actually supposed to drive in. But yeah, at some places on the map, there's water and a bit of lake that you can't drive in anymore. And then there was other little little and then there was other little bits and pieces that have been fixed quality of life stuff they like to call it like language selectors if you're in another language and stuff like that but they did want to say if you have any issues with the game tell them give them as much information as possible give them videos give them images of these issues happening this is the quickest way that they can fix it don't just go to them and say your game's broken they need information Now for information about update 13, which is the next update. Now there's actually quite a lot of information about this that we know so far, so this is pretty exciting. People have been asking about upping the car garage size and the amount of tunes that you're allowed, and they apparently are working on it. Upping the amount of cars that you're allowed in your garage and upping the amount of tunes that you're allowed is apparently a very delicate thing they need to be careful with, but they do definitely want to do it and they're definitely trying. So if you want to have more cars in your garage, that's good news for you. They're trying to do it and as soon as they've cracked it, we're sorted. I already mentioned from now on we're going to get two showcase remixes per month, so we can guess that next month we're going to get two showcase remixes. And then apparently next month they're getting a team adventure change. They are apparently rebalancing the leagues. Um, in ranked team adventure for example let's say the average league that people are at the moment is three or four they are going to up that to about 10 or 11 so basically what this means is next update when they rebalance the leagues basically everyone is going to get a big boost in the league they feel it was too hard to rank up in the ranked team adventures so from now on it's going to be a bit easier they're going to rebalance it and the chances are when you go online this next update on update 13 not this month next month you may be a couple of leagues up higher than what you were before in Team Ranked Adventure, so that's something to look forward to. Someone asked about body kits, and apparently, yes, they are working on more body kits. They've got some on the works right now, and they are scheduled. They don't know when. Maybe next update, maybe the update after, we're not sure, but more body kits are definitely coming. And then someone was asking about duplicate cars. When you get duplicate cars and wheel spins, is it the option to sell them straight away? The short answer to that was yes, they, that is something else that they're also working on. May not happen next update, it's certainly coming in the future because they're working on it. They're trying to pick at the little issues that they'll have with it, but duplicate cars, sellable when you get them in wheel spins, is definitely coming at some point, I would say. And then another thing about the future, someone asked if Festival Playlist will ever be completable up to 80% for non-Xbox Live Gold players. This is something that they didn't really say yes to, but they didn't really say no to. They're not looking into it, but if I guess if people suggest it enough, they may start to do it. Or they may start to look into it, is what I mean. Um, I don't believe we know anything else now. That's basically everything. So to put it short, we've got five new cars, a few new features with the star card, quite a bit showcase remixy and the barn find, the new Lego car, obviously. And then lots of little fixes and lots of little stuff like upping the garage size and team adventure changes. So I... It's not a massive update, update, but it's not a tiny one. We've got we've got some new cars. Some of them are pretty cool, like the Aston Martins. But um, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed. Let me know what feature you're looking forward to the most. And I'll see you all later.